Welcome back to the channel. Well, I have this uh, dilemma of sorts. If you notice, the car right there is not my normal daily driver that you may have seen in the videos. My normal daily driver is a 2012 Kia Forte SX. It's a black hatchback. Bought that car brand new. And for reasons that we'll discuss in a later video, it is down for the count right now, unfortunately. I really don't know when I might get it back. It might be next week. It might be December. I truly do not know. Nor does the Kia dealer. So, that brings me to this video and my first world dilemma. Once I get the car back, I may or may not keep it much longer for various reasons. But I'm kind of looking at getting something a little more sporty. I've been doing a lot of research uh, just to see what's out there, see what price ranges those cars are in. Anytime I buy a car, I do a ton, ton of research on it. When I bought my Jeep several years ago, it took me about six months to find it because I wanted one that was a five-speed, not the six-speed manual, of course, and a four-liter inline six-cylinder. It's kind of chilly out here. Ah, oh, that's better. So with the Jeep, when I bought it, it had right at 80,000 miles on it, which may sound like a lot for something that was my daily driver for about six years. But the four liter inline six is known for its uh, durability and reliability. And I put quite a few miles on it. Right now it's sitting just under 144,000 miles. And the only thing I really had to do to it engine wise is a, a new water pump and I really didn't have to do the pump itself it's just that the uh, little cardboard gasket behind the pump started corroding it was leaking coolant so I said well while I got this off I'll just throw a new pump on here as well and another part that made me want the 4 liter aside from durability and reliability is that it's very easy to work on should you need to the water pump was a cinch had the old one off and the new one on in a matter of about 15 minutes. So, next car. Uh, right now, the blue book value on the Forte is decent. I think I, think I could do well on it compared to uh, what I currently owe on it to what I could sell it for myself. I think I could make a little bit of money on it. And what I'm looking at, um, I'm kind of wanting something a little sporty and I'm looking at uh, maybe if I stick with Kia, there's not really any used Stingers on the market yet, but I wouldn't mind having a Stinger GT. I've driven one of those. They are incredible. Twin turbo V6, 365 horsepower, eight speed automatic. Rear wheel drive or all wheel drive. Fantastic recipe for a great car. I've also looked at an Optima SX. If you notice the uh, loaner they gave me is an Optima LX base model pretty much bare bones but even for a base model it's nicely optioned doesn't have very good stereo obviously it's base model so if I did get an Optima the only way I would go that route is a twin or the turbo four-cylinder and I've even considered um, the Kia Soul the new Kia Soul turbo or the new Kia Forte 5 SX Turbo. They both have the same 1.6 liter turbo engine, 201 horsepower. The one thing I don't like about the Soul though, and also about the Forte, the only automatic transmission you can get with them is a seven speed dual clutch. Now for racing around on the roads, as long as you're not doing any stop and go driving and you know how to drive a dual clutch, that's okay. Not my first choice. I would much rather have just a six-speed automatic that they put in the Optima Turbo. And you can only get the Soul with the automatic dual clutch. Um, but with the Forte, you can get a six-speed manual with it. But they're kind of hard to come by. Also considered a Hyundai Elantra Sport. Let me rephrase that. The Hyundai Elantra GT Sport, the hatchback model. But for that one, it also has the 1.6 liter 201 horsepower turbo. 
and you can get the six-speed manual in it but I kind of want to wait till the N model comes out with it you can get that in Europe they haven't brought it here yet but it's coming it's the higher performance level and if I part ways with Hyundai Kia I've considered well before we go there there's one other Hyundai vehicle I've considered but it might take me a little bit to find and that is the Genesis Coupe either a 2015 or 2016 model 3.8 liter V6 naturally aspirated 348 horsepower and with that you can get 6 speed manual or 8 speed automatic I think I would be happy with either transmission so back to if I did part ways with uh, owning a Hyundai or Kia as my daily driver I've looked at a Lexus IS250 or maybe even a 350 so you get the rear wheel drive or all wheel drive probably just to go with the rear on that particular car uh, if you know anything about those cars the all wheel drive has that hump right there if you don't know about it look up the IS250 hump or 350 I can't remember which one it comes on maybe both but one of those I would have to buy used um, the 2015's are starting to come off lease now it's been three years so you can find good deals on those with fairly low mileage for a decent price and being Lexus you get that Toyota reliability you know that that's always a plus and I've also kind of sort of kicked around the idea of maybe a uh, Subaru BRZ that probably I uh, probably wouldn't go for just because it's kind of small uh, daily driver would be okay but getting my son in and out of the back seat in a car that small might prove a little more challenging I did that for years in the Jeep when he was a baby and that was not fun so there you have it stay tuned in the next two weeks next year next 18 months I don't know but I will keep you in the loop on my car buying decision thanks for watching and I'll keep you in the loop on any updates with the Forte. And once that deal is all said and done, we're over that issue, I'll make a full video explaining it. Thanks for watching. And maybe, just maybe, one day, it will be warm and summery. there